Hello, welcome to Playtime. I'm your host, AltaGamer2004, and today I'm doing a little bit more vampire. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Uh, last time we went into the tunnels, we found that sewer beast. We discovered that Ms. Crane is running an underground healing facility in Whitechapel and was blackmailing that lady vampire. I can't remember her name. Uh, we're slowly getting stronger, still trying to resist the urge to drink blood. Got a new weapon that I'm really liking. So I'm kind of sticking with it for a while. Oh, I'm back. Oh, that's right. Uh, well, let's kill these skull. Get wrecked. <laughs> Let's see where this door leads. Another loading screen. Sorry, everybody. That's one thing I gotta say, I wish the load times were better. I'm having fun with it though. No, really, where am I? Oh, I know where I'm at. Are people still recovering? I can't do anything about migraines. Let's explore Whitechapel a little bit, shall we? Because I came over here... Okay, I'm back at the crane. I 
I don't think there's anything like... I guess I should go and talk to... I don't really want to talk to people. Let's go talk to Ashbury. Wait. Joe, oh, please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know the game. You fancy buying some. You never look. Right then. Do you have any more handles? Oh, you do. I'm now out of money. I've spent all my money. Whitechapel Street? Where am I? Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Kill it, boy! Get back in the grave! Cross the leaf, boy! Ow! Some of that blood. Ow. Give me some blood. Ow. That hurts. I was gonna say, do you want to lock onto the guy in front of you? Ow. night. Was this a trap for me or for you guys? Because that didn't work. Stronger. Normally, I wouldn't have been able to take that fight. I can't go that way.
I have to go around if I want to go there. Let's go investigate. Took out all these skull for you. That's it, you're giving me blood. And then I'm gonna kill you. Good night. Let's see what this blood trail is all about. Abandoned investment property. to do that. Five shillings. I'll take that. Get away from me! It's all right, sir. You're safe now. Oh, a fellow Englishman. Thank you, sir. For a moment, I thought those bloody heathens had killed me. What are you doing here? This place is not safe. Yeah, it's a cesspool, but it's mine. I came to collect some overdue rent, but those who still live here have gone completely bonkers. You're very lucky to be alive. Yeah, filthy immigrants. Fucking savages, every one of them. And now with this bloody fever, they're just animals. You can find safety of sorts in Whitechapel. If you're quick and cautious, you'll be able to avoid the... savages. You had better- Safety is- He's got a cold. I don't have any cold treatment. This is Braille. I need someone who can read this. Oh, a new investigation. Thank you. 
That's outside, isn't it? Yeah, I gotta go back outside. Leveling up? That's always a good thing. Getting stronger every day. I haven't been to that part of anywhere yet. Am I going to get ambushed again here? Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Did not mean to go in there. That's my mistake. All right. Can I not get up there? Nope. Okay, I just follow this road.
Whitechapel Old Road. He hurts. This man stunned me with his faith. His crucifix. This is not good news. That is not good indeed. Enemies are getting stronger. Let's just take care of him. Ow, word. Feed. Ow. No, get off me. Feed on him. Where did all those come from? Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. Ah, uh, this isn't even where I need to be, is it? Let's just go ahead and... Ow! I'll take my blood back, thank you. That guy...
I have a new hideout. If only I could teleport for, you know, fast travel from hideout to hideout. Yeah, that guy's the guy I gotta talk to. Stamina. Box of pills! Pills here! Alright, so I can't do anything with that guy until I progress further in the story. Can I get back to the hospital from here? I can. I can't. I have to go back. I don't have access to this part yet. Damn, that would have been so fast too. I could always use the XP for beating up Skull. Excuse me, did I say you could block? Oh! Ah! 
Shut up over there. Just knock you out. Oh, I got a wool scarf. I got a new investigation. Oh, Mr. Dobby. Large box of pills. Nice. Uh, Mr. Darby ha hangs around here, so... Uh, this way, right? Yep, this way. This is the way I want to go. Mr. Dobby. Good evening, Doctor. Can Who I does this you? scarf belong to? What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues... Uh... So you... Whitechapel is... Do you need assistance? Goodbye, Mr. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help? Have you... I've had to... I must confess, some of my rational views... I'll remember to stay away from the districts. I didn't even read that. Why is a war... I served in France. Our top priority must be to put it... Sir, streets are a battlefield too. What is it? He goes... That's not at all. Who does the scarf belong Goodbye, to? Mr. Excuse me, sir. Another journalist? I'm not a journalist. A doctor, you say? Really? But still... I'm Joe Peterson to some. But Coloss... Goodbye. Do I... I don't have any new clues. I don't know who that is. Maybe if I talk to the preacher? Even now, he judges your... Good evening, mister. He's far...
I have heard enough. I don't know. Let's go to let's go back to Ashbury. I'm going the wrong way. I was not anticipating this. It's locked. So now there are beasts all over London too. That's good to know. Oh, what's this? Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. And I already took them out. Ooh, I could eat most everybody here now. Lady Ashbury is a rank 20 mesmerize. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. 
I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you, it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe oh. I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Do you? And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy, knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Ekon? Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. Like all squares are, are recta a, all rectangles. But a branch of the immortal tree. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are square. 
I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. Yeah, and I plan on treating him cruelly in so return. Me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. Uh, vamp. I want to know awoke, more about vampires. Changed. Hunters. I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain. More than likely, it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Yeah, that sounds about right with anybody in society. I bid you farewell for now. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. The Pembroke is so lucky to have Dr. Reed, you know. I met him in New York once. If only there were more of us, with uh, less resignation. The flower's dying. It needs water. How do I water it? Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Is there anything I could steal?
Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. Docile? You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think Meaning. about the possibilities. But the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's yeah. to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. As the murderer? Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. I need a little bit of blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. I did not even mean to come up here. Ow! Let's just take care of you. Back my blood. Stop shooting me.
chill. Give me back my blood. All right, are we done ambushing me? I didn't mean to go up there. I wanted to pick up my spoils of war. going what is this place I'm just straight up breaking into people's homes now What is this path that I'm on that I'm taking? I cannot enter. All right, let's get back to what we should be doing. Let's just go ahead and drop down here. Any pry when waiting to ambush me? Yep. Take some blood. I got a shilling. Oh, hey, got a new hideout. I got a new serum. 
Uh, let's break down stuff. And let's start carrying some... I'd rather not carry stuff unless I know I need to. Like... I don't have anything for migraine. I could create a cold. Everybody is recovering, though. Shillings. I always get distracted so easily. I have this thirst for blood. Goodbye. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Stick her here in this cold, god-awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. This is a nightmare. Jonathan. 
There is nothing you can do but accept it. Easy for you to say. You didn't murder your own family. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? I've destroyed my family. My poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve. And the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Oh, so I'm a friend now? Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries. And time has taught me to deal with guilt. If not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. All right, that gate's now open. Can I... Um... Did sure she goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin, forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience. 
with their plans and unsolicited counsel. out of my way. Can a vampire even enter a church? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. Can you? I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? It was an accident. A terrible, terrible accident. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Loading. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Why do I have a feeling that Swansea is, uh, actually the one responsible somehow? Out of my way. Ow. Ow. 
Ow, I'm getting my ass kicked. Give me my blood back. I don't like those cross guys. That sucks. Take some more blood. Oh, that's a beast, that's a beast, that's a beast. Get rid of him. You're mine. Oh, he's got one of those crosses. I'm stuck in a hate corner. I want blood. Give me blood. I don't like those cross guys, those canes or knights or whatever they are. talk to it. I was trying to attack it. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. Riddles and rhymes. You took my life. Now you insult my mind. 
Be stilled, my child. I bring understanding. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, I'm meeting somebody new, apparently. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. I don't plan to. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Are you worried about the situation or your reputation? Now is not the time to think of oneself. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned the dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. Uh, oh! I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? So I need to uh, go. Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Back to the docks, huh? I have... Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my... 
Yes. And I'm a... Jonathan! How... Forgive me if I feel... I'm always... Thank you, my lady. See her again. What on earth happened here? All right. I'm going to go level up before this fight. Actually, I'm going to level up and then we'll save this for the next part. I'm um, liking the shield. A lot of things are immune to shadow damage, so... I should probably give myself more health. Can I upgrade my shield? Not without 2,000... I mean, I guess I'll just keep going... Health and Stamina? Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. Everybody is fatigued. He's got a headache. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm headed to the dock, so seven fatigue medicines.
Let's craft that before I forget. Alright, I saw the autosave, so this looks like this is gonna be a good place to call it. Uh next time I cure everybody of fatigue and I go to take on a skull that used to be a priest. As always, have fun with it, because if you're not having fun, why are you playing? Take care. <laughs>